Hello, I'm Dr. Joe McGee, and I'm the proud inventor of Vector, the variably expanding chain transmission. Vector is an expanding chain ring gearing system, which would replace the chain rings and front derailleur gearing on the crank of standard bicycles. In November of 2014, I posted a YouTube video demonstrating a working model of the Vector system to show a proof of concept and asked for feedback on the design. Overall, I received positive feedback on the system and some enthusiastic interest. This has encouraged me to move forward in developing an actual prototype with the goal of introducing a saleable product in the near future. Some of the feedback noted that the original video seemed to show some drawbacks to the design. With this new video, I hope to address some of these concerns. Some people noted that the working model seemed jerky and less than smooth in its old operation. Keep in mind that what was demonstrated was only a working model, a garage shop version that is necessarily less polished and built to much looser tolerances than even an actual prototype. The working model was only meant to show that effective gear radii could be adjusted while the model was being pedaled. Much of the unevenness in the operation was due to the loose tolerances and significant play in the surfaces of the control elements. Another factor was the fact that the model is a tabletop mock-up of a bicycle frame, and so movements of the crank arms tend to make the whole model less stable. I have been refining and tightening the construction of the original working model, and the present version runs considerably more smoothly. Fixing the model to the table on which it sits also makes for a smoother operation, which better simulates actual use on a bicycle. It still changes from a 40 tooth equivalent gear to a 24 tooth one through five discrete gear settings and back again. Gear changes are controlled by a friction shifter, but now the gear settings have been calibrated and marked on an indicator disc. A prototype or product would benefit further from integration with an index shifter. Another area of concern was that the working model of Vector has only four gear segments or contact points with the chain. Many people thought that this fact would make Vector feel lumpy or uneven when pedaling. The Vector design can be modified to accommodate any number of gear segments and contact points. I think the most practical will be either five or six gear segments. While it has not been possible for me to fabricate a functional five gear segment version which can change gear settings, I was able to make a rough and ready model of five gear segments affixed to the periphery of the base plate. When this model is run with a chain, you can see it is significantly smoother, effectively eliminate the lumpiness of the four point version. Another thing to note with this model is the smoothness and fit with which the gear segments engage the chain. This was another drawback of the original working model. The five segment model is made from an actual chain ring so the teeth are the standard shape and pitch of bicycle gearing. Part of the unevenness of the original working model was due to the fact that I designed the gear segments in a CAD system, which did not end up being as precise in its pitch. The prototype I am now developing will have five properly pitched adjustable gear segments, which should be suitable for road testing. My next step is to engage a machine shop to fabricate these parts for the prototype and conduct tests. I am interested in licensing the design to a company competent in producing a workable product. If your company is interested as well, please contact me through my website, vector-gear.com. Thank you for your interest in Vector, the variably expanding chain transmission.